30. Federal health officials are taking steps now to try to avoid another triple demic. Many Americans will be urged to get three shots this fall. Yeah, remember how sick everybody was last fall? We're here to explain why this is happening and what it means is Dr. Daniel Karitskis. He's the chief of infectious diseases at Brigham and Women's Hospital. Dr. Karitskis, great to see you. Great to see you, Ben and Erica. All right, so we haven't talked about this triple demic for about six months or so, but we're talking about COVID, the flu, and RSV. So for the first time this fall, there's a vaccine out there for all three of those, right? So who, why is this important and who should get them? Well, it's really terrific that we have vaccines for all three of these respiratory illnesses, but who gets which vaccine, I think, is going to depend a lot on what your age is and what other medical conditions you might have and what the uh, the final recommendations are, especially around the COVID uh, boosters. So everybody should get a flu shot. That's That was true before COVID. It remains true. Everybody over six months of age should get a flu shot. With a new RSV vaccine, uh, people, adults over age 60, should get the vaccine, uh, at least this season. Whether they're going to need boosters in subsequent years, we don't know yet, but they should certainly get the RSV vaccine as it comes out. We're going to have to see what the eventual recommendations are around the newer COVID booster is. We know that immunity wanes, and even with the current bivalent booster, immunity has been decreasing over time. Uh, but it may be that the booster is going to be more strongly recommended for certain people than for other people. And I don't think everybody is going to end up getting a COVID booster. Interesting. OK, so let's talk about bundling, because I guess there's been some debate about whether that's a good idea, bundling all three in one doctor's visit. So in terms of whether that's a good strategy, do we know how safe or effective that would be? I don't think there are any concerns about efficacy um, in, in, you know, the vaccines will uh, generate the desired immunity, regardless of whether you get them individually or, or as a bundle. Uh, and there's no real safety concern. It's a matter of what the side effects in terms of how sore your arms are and, and how likely you are to run a low grade fever and, and to feel kind of crummy for a day or two. Um, so, you know, I think there's no reason not to get them all at one time. It's certainly much more convenient. Some people may opt to separate them uh, for, for those reasons. Let's go back to what we know about an upcoming COVID vaccine recommendation. What we know, what we don't know, frankly, I, I want to go back. You just mentioned this. I think it's the last two falls I went and got my flu uh, vaccine in one arm and my COVID vaccine in the other. But now you're saying, you know, a lot of folks, you know, the COVID might not be circulating as much and you don't, we don't yet know who's going to be recommended to go get a COVID vaccine this fall. Is that fair? I think that's fair. I mean, we know that COVID rates are way, way down. Uh, certainly there is evidence that the COVID boosters have offered additional protection, but um, they, that protection diminished over time and uh, partly because of the mismatch with the circulating variants. Assuming that the uh, FDA and the CDC have got it right as then going after the XBB variants now, um, I think it's likely that older people, people with medical conditions and immunocompromised patients will be strongly recommended to get an additional booster. But younger people and people who are otherwise in good health may not really need that booster. We'll have to see what the data show. Interesting. Okay, Dr. Kritzkis, thanks as always for joining us. Great to see you. Thank you. Good to see you. You're very welcome.